Hey everyone, this is Kristen Sherry. Thanks for joining me for another episode of Maximize 365, a year of actionable tips to transform your life. So today's episode was super helpful for me in a difficult decision that I had to make. So we're in the health and wellness section in the intellectual wellness subchapter. And uh, we're going to talk about making tough decisions. Sometimes we can go around and around when there's a difficult decision to make. And um, sometimes when we don't make a decision, the decision gets made for us. And that's not really the way we want things to go down. We want to be as much as we can in control of those decisions. So the quote, one of my favorite, uh, is by Jim Rohn. And it says, it doesn't matter which side of the fence you get off on sometimes. What matters most is getting off. You cannot make progress without making decisions. I love Jim Rohn's quotes. He has so many great ones. Um, so Susan Britton is the founder of theacademies.com. And she taught me an effective way to make decisions when I got my master trainer certification in brain-based success coaching. And so I used this really effective way of making hard decisions for one that I had in my own life. So when my oldest son was buying his first car, um, I had some concerns and I was nervous about that purchasing decision, not from him for him driving, but it was a, it was a major purchase decision and I was afraid he might get taken advantage of or he might buy a lemon. My brother had a situation where he bought a car and it never even went on the road because it was a lemon and he spent his whole summer working, saving up for it. So I suppose that was influencing, um, influencing how I felt about it in some way. So on one hand, it was his first major purchase and I wanted him to be independent and have the experience of making an adult decision. He was 18. And so I kept going around in circles on what to do and what not to do. And so I could have given him tips from my experiences with cars. Um, I could have said, here are the top three I think you should get. I could have just said, go ahead and do the decision on your own. I just didn't know what the right thing to do was. So what I did was I aligned these, these forces of my mind, heart, and gut, those three things. What, what does my mind say, my brain say, my logic say, what does my heart say, and what does my gut say? And that enabled me to make the best decision. So Susan had asked me to write down what was my head telling me to do, the, the place of creativity and logic. And then she had me write what my heart was telling me to do. That's the place where compassion lives. And then what is my gut telling me? That's my, my instinct. That's where courage and fear both can reside. So after capturing the voice of reason, my emotions, and my instinct, um, the question becomes, what would honor all three? What would satisfy all three? Where my head, my heart, and my gut are all satisfied or all considered. So she described the method as making the most creative, compassionate, and courageous decision possible. So I think sometimes the courageous piece can get left out of that equation. I guess it depends on how you're wired, which one you would tend to leave out. So I ended up offering my son a list of things I would look for in a car if he was interested in that advice. And I went with him to the dealer, but I stepped back and let him manage the entire process. So he was the one that spoke to the salesperson. He went for the test drive. And in fact, I didn't even go. I stayed behind for the test drive. And he just came and talked to me um, at each step. And then when it came time to make the purchase, uh, he he took the lead also with the salesperson in inside the dealership. So it was a perfect experience really because he felt very independent but there was a bit of safety net there for questions and the experiences that I had had buying cars if he if he had questions or needed help and I found he was very interested in my opinion but I allowed him to come to me and ask as he needed after I had made the offer 
So your idea for action is to try Susan's process yourself. If you're struggling with a decision or the next time you have to make a decision, write down all the things your head is telling you, all the things your heart is telling you, and all the things your gut are telling you, and what is the most creative, compassionate, and courageous decision that you can make. So tell me what your thoughts are about this process. I'd love to hear your thoughts and don't forget to subscribe to the channel because I'm going to teach you a cool thing called a problem a day um, on the next episode. So take care.